Vincent says, uh, creating a power app that will run under a service account that has access to Exchange Online to send emails. Pretty straightforward. I'm being told that the service account needs to ha hold an E3 license, which seems overkill to me. E3 includes installable Office applications, so why would I need that? Surely an F3 or even an Exchange Plan license would suffice. What are others using? E3 or E5, just like the uh, requirements say, the difference between those other uh, two licenses that you mentioned in the front line, F3 is a frontline user's license and they it's limited. It just simply isn't available to, for them to do that. The, the same with the exchange only. You, you don't, a service account has got to have permissions to work within the context of the back end of the service and neither one of those account types do. It's pretty straightforward. And I know that he he says with the overkill of it, but Power Apps is a pretty complex, you know, application uh, which requires plug in to pretty much the whole suite. So if you're going to do Power Apps, you don't want to provide Power Apps where an F3 worker has very limited functionality, so they can just get their job done out in the field. And that is the basics of working online. They don't need the desktop apps, they don't need all that. So therefore having something like Power Apps to plug in just doesn't make sense from a licensing perspective, hence why you then have to go to the next level and have literally kind of things lit up so that when you start to create anything that sits in that power space, because power, literally power is about getting stuck into everything. So it's not, it's kind of the one or the other. You've got to go down the road of a higher license. F3 is not going to cut it.